Hey, what's up everybody? Chief here. Thanks for checking out my latest video. If you enjoy War Robots, why don't you go ahead and hook the video up with a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on bells for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos or live streams. In today's video, uh, this is kind of a continuance with the brand new Titans, and today we are taking a look at the brand new Titan Arthur, along with the rocket weapons. So uh, I'm going to be doing videos for each one of the Titans and using all of the different weapons. Uh, this is the second video in the Titan series that I am going to be releasing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just max out the Titan uh, all the way, uh, as well as the weapons. Now this is my Battle Rack account. Uh, this account is given to me by Pixonic uh, to make videos just like this. This is not my personal account. It's not one that I'm playing you know, all the time. It's strictly for videos. But let's go ahead and take a look at what I got going on here. This is the Arthur, the Titan, um, and you can see that uh, it also has three different uh, areas to upgrade, uh, just like all the other Titans, uh, starting off with the hull. Uh, each time you upgrade it, you will alternate between gaining durability and uh, defense points. Now that's resistance basically and it will max out uh, just like the kid at 50 defense points uh, which will give you a little bit of resistance when you are on the battlefield. Uh, the second part which is a little bit more specific and different for each one of the titans is the core. Now the core ability for the Arthur you will alternate with each level increasing the shield durability and then uh, bonus durability for I believe the robot and the shield itself uh, so you will end up with uh, well over a million total uh, durability for the shield and that is combined so that is both shields together and then uh, which we actually found out thanks to Green Apple so uh, thanks for doing that testing and posting your video uh, but uh, anyway, it also gives an additional 25% at max level for durability. Now the third one, uh, once again, just like all the Titans, is increased to speed and then its uh, secondary ability, which for the Arthur is called Blast Wave. Now, uh, it actually does significant amount of damage, uh, the Blast Wave itself, but uh, it is not damage over time like the kid's secondary ability. Uh, this is just uh, one big hit basically, and then it also will push robots away from the Arthur. So it's actually a pretty unique ability and fairly strong. Uh, it also has a 10 second cooldown, which is the same cooldown as the kid's secondary ability. So uh, overall, uh, this is what it looks like when it is completely maxed out. We will go ahead and uh, take a closer look at the robot itself. Um, it actually looks pretty good. Now keep in mind, this is part of the Knights of Camelot set, which was the Gareth, uh, Galahad, and Lancelot. So uh, it does follow that same theme, especially with the use of its shields. Now taking a look here at the uh, ability itself, the main ability of the Arthur is called Phalanx Mode, and you basically just move your shields from the side of the robot to the front to protect you, and it will also slow you down by 20%. Now, the secondary ability is called Blast Wave. Like I said, it has a 100 meter radius, does damage to anybody in that radius, and also knocks them away from the Arthur. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look real quick at the rocket weapons that I have equipped on here. First up is going to be the uh, Rupture, which is the beta weapon. Uh, it is the smaller rocket weapon, and you can take a look at the uh, stats there, and then we'll move over to the alpha weapon. It does a little bit more damage, uh, but it is a much slower fire rate and reload rate. Uh, but uh, overall, these are actually pretty decent weapons, uh, though I do think they fire a little bit too slow. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's the uh, maxed out Arthur. Let's go ahead and get into some gameplay now. Okay, so here we are on game number one. Uh, we are dropping in on Springfield, and uh, I'm starting off once again with my beacon runner. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, try and cap our home beacon and see if I can't make it over to the uh, usually contested center beacon. And uh, there we go. Looks like I have a teammate already headed out to center. Let me see if I can uh, get over there as well. Um, it does look like the red team is not actually pushing for the center beacon, so uh, as long as we do get our uh, 
our other side beacon on the dam, we should end up with uh, at least having the three beacon lead. So uh, let me go ahead and chill out here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, maybe push out to the farm. Maybe if I can uh, take out one of these, uh, these reds over here, that would be good. And uh, try and maybe get some uh, focus out here on the uh, farm beacon rather than uh, the guys that look like they are pushing for our uh, home beacon there on the platform. Um, see if I can't uh, get this out June taken down at least. And there we go. So a lot of times when I'm playing this game, I especially with my beacon runners, I try to serve as more of a distraction, even though like on this beacon, I know I'm not going to get the beacon. But, uh, you know, if I can keep their focus over here, uh, that should help my team. Uh, but it does look like my team did give up our uh, platform beacon, so dropping in here with the tier, I'm going to try and uh, get this beacon back. And, uh, okay, looks like there's a leech now. I'm going to go ahead and keep my shield up. Looks like he is changing focus, which is good for me. And let's see if we can't get him taken down. Got him to his last stand there, and he should go down here. There we go, but uh, unfortunately he got some backup here, um, and with my energy shotguns it's going to be tough to uh, break through that Lancelot because of its physical shield. So I'm going to go down right here, uh, which is okay. Let me. Uh, it does look like my team actually got over to their home beacon, so we looks like we uh, flipped home beacons. So um, let me go ahead and uh, drop in here at center because they are starting to push it, dropping out my Fenrir. Um, I should be able to uh, take this leech out. And there he goes. Oh, he phase shifted, but uh, he's still going to end up going down here. If I get around the corner, there we go. Alright, so... Uh, hmm. We need to uh, definitely get one of these uh, beacons from them. So I th think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go ahead and push over here towards the farm since they only have the one the one player defending it, and uh, the Fenrir is a fairly slow robot too, so that is uh, one of the uh, closer beacons to go to. Go ahead and uh, change my mode here so I don't take too much damage. Uh, go ahead and counter heal, and we should be able to uh, take out this Al June. There he goes. and. Uh, Looks like he is getting some help here defending, but uh, let's see if we can't go ahead and uh, at least take their robots down uh, in the process of, of hopefully getting the beacon. Not sure what's going on here with the uh, invader. It looks like he was kind of hovering there for a minute. Um, but, uh, he is down. Triple kill. Nice. All right. So, uh, man, you know. Fenrir, I can't, uh, I can't tell you guys how much I, I enjoy playing this robot. He's just so strong. Uh, he's just a lot of fun to play. Let's see if we can't uh, take out some more of them here, but I'm probably going to end up going down. I've got uh, a Titan, a Fenrir. Oh, and I got their whole team over here, it looks. So hopefully my uh, teammates are actually pushing on another beacon. Uh, looks like they were getting our home back, so that's good. So definitely worth sacrificing that bot. Uh, now let me go ahead and drop in the Aljun here. It looks like they are going to be pushing for the uh, center beacon. Uh, looks like there's still at least three or four. Looks like four of them, uh, and they do. Was that a? Couldn't tell if that was a uh, Loki or a pursuer, but uh, either way, he moved on. Um, but uh, let me just try and get some damage on these folks here and keep them off of the uh, center beacon. Oh, definitely a uh, Loki there uh, on my right. Uh, I'm going to end up going down, but uh, yeah, let me see about maybe dropping the Titan if I can uh, get it dropped in fast enough. Oh, didn't get it dropped in fast enough. Uh, that's too bad. So uh, let me go ahead and uh, drop in at the damn beacon with the Titan. And uh, we'll see what the uh, Arthur can do here. Looks like that Loki is uh, running off towards our platform beacon. Hopefully my team has a way of dealing with that. 
and uh, let's go ahead and just uh, soak up some damage with these shields and uh, try and get a couple of these reds knocked out. Um, so far they haven't been able to do any damage to me, which is great. The, uh, the Arthur here actually feels kind of like a Titan just because it, uh, it has that increased survivability with these shields. Um, the uh, rockets are doing a fair amount of damage, but you can see that uh, a lot of them are kind of missing, and that's that's kind of what I mentioned uh, earlier with saying that I think that they do fire a bit slow. I don't mean the fire rate specifically. What I mean is the actual firing through the air. Um, it's almost as though most robots are fast enough to simply avoid the splash damage. So uh, maybe that's something Pixonic can look at in the future. Maybe adjust the uh, splash radius to be a little bit larger or uh, increase the speed of travel on the uh, rockets just a little bit. Um, getting shot from behind here. Let's see if I can't uh, get him with some splash damage. Can't really tell if I'm hitting him or not. So let me go ahead and, uh, all right, so we, we need a beacon. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, push over here and try and get center back. Looks like uh, I should be able to uh, take out this invader. Got this uh, Loki still pestering me from behind. Um, let's see if we can't take out this Titan. Go ahead and hit him with maybe a blast wave. There we go. You can see the blast wave actually does a fairly significant amount of damage. Um, it didn't. I couldn't really tell if it uh, pushed the, uh, the the kid titan away from me or not, but uh, you can definitely see it pushing away the uh, regular robots. Okay, so uh, we've got the uh, beacon advantage back now, um, but uh, they are slightly ahead on the beacon bar. Uh, but it does look like they are down to three players, which is uh, good for my team. So, looks like I have a uh, teammate chasing after that Loki towards the farm beacon. So let me go ahead and move up here and just try and uh, get a couple of these reds taken out. Um, not not really hitting this, uh, this Titan here with the splash damage. Um, let's see if he's uh, going to slide over enough there he yeah he actually slid over far enough for me to uh, hit him um, he actually had a good position of cover there and uh, now I have a good position of cover uh, one good thing about the uh, Arthur here is that all of his weapons are actually at the top of the robot which is great for when you are trying to utilize the limited cover that uh, Titans can use uh, you are able to shoot over most of it uh, unlike the kid whose uh, beta weapons actually end up uh, not doing much damage because if you are hiding behind something, uh, they end up shooting into the uh, wall or the building, whatever it is that you are using for cover. All right, so there we go. I was able to uh, take down that Titan, and it looks like now they are down to just one player, maybe. And we do have them five caps, so uh, let me go ahead and uh, I think I'm going to have to ditch this bot just to uh, make sure that Loki doesn't flip the beacon. So uh, here we go, but uh, oh, you know what? I think that, yeah, that, that is it. Uh, that did it for the match. So uh, it was actually a pretty good run there on the uh, Arthur. Um, this is actually a pretty decent build. Uh, take a quick look here at the uh, damage, uh, over 3 million, not bad, 12 kills and 3 beacons. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a second match for you all. And here we are uh, in the uh, second match uh, using the Arthur, and uh, once again we're on Springfield. Uh, I'm going to be starting off uh, once again with the Phantom as a beacon runner, and uh, usually when I start off in this position, I will uh, wait and see if they flood over towards the center beacon, which a lot of uh, opponents tend to do, but uh, in this case they are not, so I am going to go ahead and push into center from over here uh, when they do have like three people pushing towards center I will usually go and try and take their uh, their home platform beacon but uh, in this case I was able to make it up here into center and I should have no problem getting in all right so here we are uh, we were able to uh, get that three beacon advantage from the start which is always good 
Uh, we do have somebody over here trying to contest a little bit, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cause a little bit of a distraction once again with my beacon runner uh, and push over here towards the beacon on the dam. I don't like to spend too much time in a beacon runner because generally the faster bots have, you know, some, uh, you know, smaller weapons or less firepower. And uh, it's not always good to uh, stay in your beacon runner for the, you know, for an extended period of time. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, let them finish this robot off. And unfortunately it looks like uh, they picked up a couple of beacons on us. Uh, not sure how that happened. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, drop in with my tier. Try and get our home beacon back. It looks like uh, my teammate was on top of that. So we were able to get our home beacon back. Uh, but they do have the uh, beacon advantage on us right now. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here with my teammate. And I'm going to push for their platform beacon. Uh, even though their spawn is at the uh, platform right there next to that beacon, uh, usually it, it's actually fairly easy to pick up the, uh, the uh, beacons on the platform. Um, and if you can keep them, uh, keep them down and defend it, it's usually only one or two people that might spawn in over here at their spawn location to try and take it back. So, okay, we should get the beacon, and here we go. Yep. And it looks like they are all concentrating there on the uh, center beacon. Um, yep, okay, so he did uh, drop in another robot over here. Looks like a Fenrir. Let's go ahead and try and uh, get him taken out. Ooh, he is using some uh, cryo weapons on that. It's uh, not a good thing for a tier because my physical shield doesn't uh, protect me against rockets. Um, but uh, we're able to take him down either way. But I did... Uh, lose quite a bit of health and uh, went through my last stand but uh, let's go ahead and uh, scoot over here and oh it's a leech and I'm gonna end up uh, going down here I think yeah once again it looks like he's using a cryo weapon uh, which does give him that uh, additional damage which is you know it's, it's not really the slow on the cryo weapons that's uh, trouble it is actually the uh, increased damage that they can do against your robot um, but uh, anyway so now, now it looks like we might have a couple more Lokis or something over here but uh, they took our home beacon um, gonna have to make a choice here uh, let me go ahead and just try and protect the one that we have I guess um, now I I do have my Titan bar unlocked. Uh, do I want to drop him in? No. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, protect this one a little bit more, and then I will uh, see if I can't use the leech to get our home beacon back. And uh, you know, one thing I, I actually want to try with the uh, Titan this game is maybe see if I can't uh, really test its shield durability. I don't know if that means maybe find a way to drop him in, you know, right next to some reds and see how much damage that thing can actually take. Uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But uh, let me see if I can't uh, take down this, uh, looks like a traditionalist falcon. Um, and he's uh, actually pretty smart not shooting at me. But uh, I'm going to phase shift here. I've got a uh, leech coming at me. Um, I don't know if I'm going to uh, win this one or not. A little bit of help from my uh, teammate there, which uh, is great. Let's see if we can't uh, finish this leech. There we go. Um, but I'm going to end up going down here. Yeah, another leech and an uh, Ares. I have no chance there. But uh, you know what? It looks like, yeah, there's three or four of them there. Let me go ahead and drop my Titan. This might be a good, uh, good way to actually test the overall durability of the shield. So I did uh, move the shield into uh, the front of the robot just so I can avoid most of the uh, damage from the front. And uh, I want to try and keep these bots uh, in front of me. Um, you can see the damage that these uh, rockets are doing against this, uh, this traditionalist falcon. Um, actually, it's, it's not too bad. Uh, you have to remember that the uh, all of the Titan uh, Alpha weapons have defense mitigation, uh, so that means that it's a direct uh, counter to the robots like the T Falcon that have a lot of resistance. So uh, it is a little bit more uh, damage using uh, the Titan weapons, I guess. 
but uh, okay, I just lost my shields there, so you can see that uh, that he was able to actually use his Avenger to uh, take out both of my shields after, I don't know, probably two or three cycles uh, uh, reloads on his uh, Avenger. Uh, but do keep in mind that the uh, kinetic weapons like the Avenger actually do increased damage against physical shields. So uh, overall, I mean, even though the Titan did not uh, win that engagement outright, I mean, I think there was definitely enough pressure put on it that uh, my team was able to concentrate on picking up some of the other beacons, which uh, really, you can't ask for too much more than that. But uh, we were able also to take a uh, good look there and actually watch the shields getting broke one by one um, by that uh, T-Falcon. So that was uh, pretty interesting to uh, see. Now. Uh, just uh, dropped in here with the Fenrir. It looks like they are down to four players. Uh, two of them are trying to push for their home beacon. Uh, so I'm going to come over here, support my team, and try and uh, take them out just so that uh, we can try and keep it. Looks like looks like they uh, looks like they just got the uh, dam beacon back, but uh, they ended up losing center. Um, pretty close match, actually. But it uh, looks like they are down to three players, so we uh, will probably end up pulling a uh, win off of this match. There we go. So they've got uh, two players left. Uh, I'm not sure what this is coming up here. Oh, that is a leech. I uh, need to uh, stop firing there. But, uh, okay, his ability is about to drop, so I'm going to lay into him and should take him out. And uh, there he goes, and we've got a Titan here, and man, this Fenrir is just an absolute beast when it comes to Titans. Uh, it just smashes the Titans that he comes across. It's a lot of fun. Um, so uh, there we go. Took out that one, and it looks like uh, they still have two players. Where are they? Okay, so they are both over here. Um, oh, another Loki. Gosh, something with Lokis today. Um, but uh, let me move up. I don't know if I'm going to get close enough for some damage or not. Yeah, he is down, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm hitting him to uh, try and support my team from over here. But it looks like they are out of bots. So, uh, yeah, that was uh, actually a pretty good fight. Oh, they have one more. All right, what is this? Let's uh, go ahead and take it out. That's... Uh, an Al Ming. It's uh, pretty interesting to see one of them out in the wild already. Uh, actually, have come across one that was maxed out. But, uh, you know, that I think is going to do it for the match. Um, overall, uh, it was actually a pretty close match. Uh, they put up a hell of a fight, and it was uh, quite a bit of fun. Um, the Titan didn't do so good, but you know, I did drop him in against several Reds, knowing that you know. It was kind of a bad position, but overall, almost 4 million damage, uh, 8 kills, and 4 beacons, so um, great match, and you, you were able to uh, really take a look at what a maxed out Arthur can do. Let me know in the comments below which of the Titans so far you think is going to be the strongest, and uh, look for my next video, which will be out soon, covering the Ao Ming. So until the next video, Chief out.